From Zimbabwe, a new take on Michelangelo's Last Judgment. Some leaders seem to be ascending to heaven. Others don't fare so well. From Mozambique, sculptures made from guns and bullets used during the Civil War. Destructive weapons, here treated with humor and irony. And photographs that celebrate the dandies of Congo Brazzaville and the hairstyles of Nigeria. All brought together thanks to this woman, the daughter of a famous Moroccan painter. But with 54 countries in Africa, is there even such a thing as African art? The influences are different. We have religion influence, tradition influence, but they are a continent of full of dynamism, full of energy, and this is what you know you can see on the world. There's no theme, you know, like what is surprising for all the people is the diversity of it. The thing is that European history and African culture are intertwined. Sakari Douglas Camp, born in Nigeria, merges ideas from African and British history into her sculptures and feels that African art is sold too cheaply compared to that from, say, Europe or America. I mean, we've shown in um, institutions all over the world um, and probably done a lot more than um, some of our white contemporaries that are more successful. Um, but um, because we have an African tag, I think people are shy of actually looking at what we do. The fair has been busy. People have been buying, which, after all, is what it's all about. But although much of the art is new, is this the same old story of wealthy Europeans taking the best from Africa? Most contemporary African art is still bought by collectors here in Europe, but that is changing very fast. Dealers at this fair tell us that more and more wealthy collectors from countries like Ghana, Angola, and perhaps above all Nigeria, are investing in their own country's art. For years, African sculptors have taken everyday objects and transformed them into imaginative works of art. Now their skill, and that of African painters and photographers, is getting real recognition at home and here in London, where the organisers hope that this fair will become an annual event. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera.